Hello. Mr. Ziegler calling you? Yeah. Thank you. There you are. Hello, Ron. Yes, sir. I talked to Bob. Yeah. And told him that uh, your decision was to ask for the resignation. And uh, you had uh, thought this through for now three weeks. And uh, I told him that you recognize that their lawyers don't agree with this approach. And that they don't agree with this approach. But the president uh, feels clear in his mind now that this must be done. And that's what he wants. And uh, uh, Bob said, fine. He understands. He feels it's wrong decision, but he will abide by it. And uh, in terms of John, he said, I think John is going to be more difficult in accepting this. And Bob said, I'll do what I can with John. Good. Big man. He sure is. Big man. In other words, he's going to go talk to John, I presume. I'm going to talk to him on the helicopter. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Good evening. President Nixon moved at the highest level today to cleanse the White House of the taint of the Watergate scandal. The president has asked me to announce that he has today received and accepted the resignation of two of his closest friends and most trusted assistants in the White House. In their statements of resignation, Haldeman and Ehrlichman blamed many of their problems on the press. Whether the president plans to incorporate any such statement in his nationwide address tonight is unknown. Today, in one of the most difficult decisions of my presidency, I accepted the resignations of two of my closest associates in the White House, Bob Haldeman, John Ehrlichman, two of the finest public servants it has been my privilege to know. I want to stress that in accepting these resignations, I mean to leave no implication, whatever, of personal wrongdoing on their part. And I leave no implication tonight of implication on the part of others who have been charged in this matter. God bless America. And God bless each and every one of you.